Hello there and welcome back. So before we start the episode, I think it is time to close out the giveaway. So what I have decided to do here, I realized that um, my initial instructions comment on how to enter the giveaway was a little bit too late. And when I checked, there was already a few comments. So I've decided to include everyone that left a comment on the video. I mean, there's only 14 of you, so everyone still has pretty high chances. So, okay, everyone's names are listed out. All we got to do is click to spin. Here we go. And the winner is... Ooh, that was a close one. Popo Ribnik. I'm sorry if I misspelled your name, but uh, congratulations. You are the new owner of Falconeer. So do get in touch with me via Discord. Just send me a private message and we'll uh, sort it out real quick for you. Again, congratulations and let's get straight into the episode. All right, so there we go. We're back into the game. Let me just resume the time real quick as well. Oh. Here we go. And um, yeah, so congratulations again for winning Falconeer. Hope you enjoyed this. And um, so right, in this episode, I've already let the, the forest sort of grow as much as possible. I think I left it running for a few days as well. So um, yeah, everything or all that I have done is I've added a few lumberjack flags just to start the harvesting process already and hopefully filling up some of those large industrial piles as well, which I think it seems like it is full. Okay, so we can resume that. Let's have a look. Everything else, I mean, we don't want to go crazy here. I do have a feeling that this is pretty much how we want to leave this zone, like, as it is right now. Because, yeah, there's no need to overkill or overdevelop this area. Its main purpose is just to grow some logs for us, and that, that's really it. I mean, the only area where we can improve a little bit is just in these, I, I guess this, um, yeah, this cubic zone rectangle, just to put a few more industrial piles, perhaps, or maybe some crossing or um, waiting areas for the trains. Now, otherwise, it, it should be pretty good. Now, our beaver population has dropped to uh, 49 only. We've got 35 bots. And, uh, oh wow, there's quite a few, few jobs. So, we could quickly hop around and let's take a look if, if we can fill some of those jobs. Okay, swap you guys out as well. You are complaining a little bit. Okay, I think with the food factories, we can probably boss them we are not going to be producing any food in this area now other than that this one here yeah i mean very soon we should be reducing this area as well so how about we stop harvesting trees in here okay here we go and in terms of lag i don't know maybe there's a bit of a change so again thank you very much alex for giving us the idea to swap over the the beavers with the bots, I guess maybe, hopefully, there's a bit of a change now. It, it's kind of weird because it's uh, the slowest of the of the speeds, but it's still, it's not very smooth, is it? I think in the future I might just do a little bit smaller maps. I don't know. I just have a thing for massive maps. I think they're pretty cool. Okay, so this brings us to the focus of this episode and it is going to be to build up this area. I have taken the liberty to already place down some levees because that is probably going to be the, the uh, most boring of all of this. Yeah, most definitely because there's quite a few levees and I, and I want this to be like off the ground. I really want this to feel super industrial. Now let's build one over here and then they can slowly start doing the rest I guess as well. We'll do one over here as well so it's kind of like locked in. Why don't we give you a slightly high priority. There we go. And then with the slopes and the sides over here that's gonna be... hmm. Okay let's see. Access. Yeah that's gonna be a little bit tricky. Well not so tricky. Uh, Forester probably don't need you so let's get rid of you. Oh wow okay. So this bot did not have a great day. It seems um, interesting. Oh dear. Face there as well. Oh, never mind. It is already gone. So the trains are coming in from here. That's where we're going to have the station. So probably some warehouses. We do, do want to have some crossings as well, like, like this one here. So um, yeah, probably going to cross over from somewhere here. And we also have a road this way. Okay, another section is done. That is fantastic. As soon as we get this completed, we can start running some deliveries already. You're complaining here, aren't you? Okay, how about we get this one built real quick. And 
if we do the same with a few of these ladders, I reckon we might be able to, yeah, rescue you. Okay, let's have a look. This one's going to be almost done. Maybe high priority for this one too. And then they can start doing their other levies as well. Right, so this might take a little bit longer. I have a feeling it will be useful to get some uh, help. Yeah, professional help. We need some more construction bots over here. How many can we take? Maybe another 15. Okay, enter. And there we go. Let's have a look now. All right, we got 12 spare ones in this district. 26 overall. This is really lovely to see. I've got to admit, just having a ton of spare bots is, is very satisfying. Okay, another construction hut over here. I reckon... Wouldn't hurt to do a couple of you, right? It's a little bit weird here because we have the industrial pile, so it's not really lining up, but I think we'll be we'll be okay. So um, whilst they are building those ones, we have given them a highest of priorities as well. Now access seems to be okay. They can go wherever they want, and unfortunately these trees are gonna have to go. Yeah, I have a feeling they're gonna be in our way. And uh, I mean, look, if we need some more decorations here, and if there are going to be some like sections or zones that we do want to switch up and another bot dead over here, then um, I'm sure and I'm certain that we can arrange for some trees. Now for the rest of it, actually, yeah, we don't need this water hole here or the moisturization station. No, we don't really need this one here because everything's going to look like levies like this basically i think so okay so whilst we ponder on this let's uh, just skip the night real quick and we'll be back in the morning okay so the morning is here and um, the trains have just started running which means we must have completed one of the links uh, hmm, okay yes they seem to be running through so that is absolutely fantastic now another thing i've quickly realized over here which we can do after the quick autosave is we're going to need to separate uh, some of these sections. Which way are you going now? Yep, go this way. And we would like to do the same over here as well. All right, so there we go. They should be separate tracks now. Fantastic. Oh, okay. Get this one built as well because I feel... Yeah, we need to avoid this station if we, if we can. And uh, another thing that we could do here... <laughs> so with the resting areas... Not the good station, waiting station. Okay, here we go. So, with you, it doesn't matter which way we place you. Um, <laughs> but, um, okay, we don't really have the space here anymore. I mean, of course, we can get rid of you guys. But to connect you up, is there enough space or is there not? Because um, I'm going to need to turn into it as well. Oh, never mind. We can place you underneath the platforms. Okay, so that's really cool. Never mind. I take it back. It seems we can indeed do a few waiting stations just like so. Shall we do it? I mean, why not? We can do one over here, one over here. And uh, it means we are going to have to destroy the track again. But I think it is okay, isn't it? We can even space you out a little bit. Okay. That seems to be good. Do a one over there as well. And voila, almost. Now, all we need over here is a couple of these tracks. You can go, grab you again, and just need to wait for you to construct it all up now, isn't it? And um, over here, unfortunately, we didn't have the right pieces in before, but not to worry, we can fix all of this rather quickly okay so you guys carry on fix this area up a little bit we'll do as many of those platforms as we can not the platforms the levees i mean then we can continue ripping out oh okay these are not the trees these ones can go and probably these ones as well and okay our next step over here i've noticed that they started bringing resources from i think from here to here so maybe it is time do we have any power Let's just double check. So hide the water. Is this one running through 100, 250? Okay, so this isn't a lot of power. You guys have charging stations, so I'm not worried about you guys. We do have to bring through those cables from somewhere as well. Okay, so we already have those power cables right about here. 
you guys have another alternative connection as well so that is great because uh sorry guys you're gonna lose your access for a little bit okay doesn't have to stay this way forever here we go another quick platform road on top of it and this shall be fixed in no time all right so there we go this is pretty much how we are gonna do it just very simple running those cables through and um over here okay so we don't want to put them over those roads i think i don't really know how we want to do this so we're going to keep this as simple as we can yep all of those trees are going to go cables will go in their place instead well might have to give you a little bit higher priority so we get this done asap here we go these trees as well and okay then we just need to relink this area up a little bit okay so a couple of quick extras as well we've extended the cables as much as we can they finally completed the connection over here why is this tree not done i am not sure this road can go as well here we go and the final not the final almost the final link is now in place so um got a few cables in the water over here however this section is gonna have to change a little bit now we are not needing the connection over here oh hold on a second i should have probably kept this area in here yeah because we'd like to climb down now do we want to keep those trees looking nice and lovely here actually do you know what maybe not maybe yes i'm not really sure right now what i am sure is everything in here is probably gonna go okay we can do a couple more i mean it might look nice with the with the trees the way they are right now and um yeah let's just get rid of all of those trees as well maybe a little bit of a uh, higher priority okay here we go these ones can go this one would be lovely if you build them up real quick. I'll put the road somewhere around here. And then what I'd like to do, I'd like to climb down. Now, what shall we use? This is going to be quite a industrial zone. So why don't we place these stairs instead? Okay, there we go. Lovely. They, they still have access from, from this bridge over here. And I think there was another one. Oh, yes, there was one right there as well. Now, access wise, it is not looking pretty no not at all this is pretty far wait do we have another bridge somewhere here to connect you up no we did not and uh, what is the distance now 149 149 here as well 46 36 um oh because it's going through here of course okay so what shall we what should we do next i would really like to connect up the district center if we could uh no one in here they've got a couple of things built already i mean energy wise we should be fine and all of this here is going up pretty quickly as well. Okay, main district again, very quickly. It seems we have a lot of, yeah, 18 jumps that need to be filled. There's 29 in total, so they must be somewhere else. Not quite sure. Oh, it must be the water, isn't it? Let's just have a quick look. Um, <laughs> yep, I'm just going to switch them over with bots instead, and we should be should be good then and here we go we finally have the power link connected which means our beavers can be not the beavers i don't know why i keep calling them the beavers the bots that's the ones i'm talking about so the bots can be pretty happy they can uh, charge up over here and then resume with their daily task okay now the next thing okay so they are harvesting pretty nicely actually yeah it's not too bad at all i mean how many flags have we done there's a couple here a couple there i mean i don't really know how many of those flags we are gonna need let me just give you a slightly not this one that one yeah how many flags we're gonna need things are looking okay so far so the next thing i'd like to do because we know that the the trains are running through this area which is great and they run into here as well logs accept logs logs send Wait, is it showing exactly the same things right now? No, it is not. Okay, this is set to receive everything. Okay, cool. Happy days. Now, the next thing that I wanted to do... Let's just cut the links from here. Uh, <laughs> and from about here as well. Why are you complaining? Oh, yeah, we were building this new area up over here. So all we need is just this link. Okay, cool. So um, I think everything is going to complain that they don't have anything or anyone in this zone. So what we can do, let's grab a road. And here we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. One second. Four of you here. Resume. 
and a logging industry okay so we've got 19 jobs and would like to bring in i don't know how many i think it's still like 25 okay logging minimum 25 off you go all right are we good now i believe so so we've got five spare which is lovely i think we are gonna drop down a few more log cutters or wood cutters lumberjack flags that's what they were called now with the section over here we've got 16 spares i mean extra pots are very handy right now that is for sure so how about we do like a couple more over here so we get everything constructed even even quicker and uh, let's have a look at those trains as well are they already running through this zone well it's a little bit dark so we can't really see anything logs wise let's have a look you have only 31 and you have 1.6k yeah storages should definitely do more around here i mean we could maybe block down a few in the middle here as well but i think it would be kind of cool to leave those trees i don't know what do you guys think should we leave the trees here or should we just cover it up like we have over here just a ton of industrial log piles i think it would fit here pretty pretty nicely isn't it three and a three and a three in the middle oh okay not bad at all yeah we could do quite a quite a few in there so yeah let's uh, leave you alone are we not seeing any trains go through here are some of those tracks a little bit funky again they sometimes pause for a little bit when we are building new ones and they need to like recalculate or something oh there's a couple over here let's give you a slightly higher priority i know they don't have the access just yet but that's because they can't get the materials i mean oh i think i know what's going on we don't have a hauling post in here just yet now do we no we do not okay so time to place one over here we'll give you the highest of priorities hopefully we are gonna have some or enough resources are we bringing any blanks in uh, yes we are okay now we should have some lying around as well but i don't think we have the oh yeah the warehouses okay so maybe we do have to hmm you are all full aren't you what i might do i know it's breaking our typical design but uh yeah let's uh, let's just change it up a little bit we need a few blanks i spotted a little corner over here here we go fix that up as well and as soon as you're done they should be able to take the rubble from here and then use them in the hauling post okay there we go now next things once the hauling post is done we should be able to bring all the logs into the goods station probably need some more haulers over here that means we are going to need some more bots as well let's send another six over here all right 35 it is off you go i hope we have enough spare yes we should do and uh, for some reason we have 14 spare now but that's all right, 10 of them are going to go into the hauling post and that's going to be done any second as well. So a quick fix we have to do here, we need to allow them to turn back as well because what's going to happen is a lot of those trains want to grab the logs from our newest district, take them from here and ride all the way here where they are going to drop them off. Now the problem is once they do that, before they'd have to ride pretty much all the way back here, turn around and then come back again. That's a very big and pointless loop so i am gonna fix this up we're gonna add those t intersection tracks over here and um yeah as soon as they put them down another train track just like so and that should do the trick a couple of days fast forwarded and um, i think we've got a bit of an idea so i've let them just uh, place down as many levees as possible it's just taking quite a bit of time and um, we've definitely had some issues with the supply line as well so uh, what we have done here we've um, sort of removed the water dump areas so moisturizer is going to be turned off this one's still on um, yeah might turn it off later i guess we'll see i've also sort of i, I don't know if it's like more space efficient but I've um, kind of placed them together. So we have two waiting stations over here. And then the trains can still pass through. I don't think that one is a station, is it? No, that's just normal normal tracks over here. And then uh, I've had to move the, the actual good station around just a tiny bit as well. Then, um, right, what else are we doing here? So all of this is going to go as soon as we clean this up, I think. Or maybe we can remove this already. Now, 
the idea I have over here, I'd like to keep it as exposed as possible. I don't want to hide the the good station and also the waiting stations as well. Like trains are a very cool addition to the game, so I'd like to see and ensure they are visible as much as possible. And um, I, I do want to give it a bit of depth as well, because right now everything is flat and pretty boring. Now, I know we're not going to have beavers here, but those row houses are going to be pretty cool, kind of like skyscrapers, and they have a the texture they have as well. I think that's going to look pretty, pretty nice over here. I might use the taller ones, because right now these are the normal row houses. We could also use the large ones here instead. Okay, now, um, yeah, so that's going to go, that's going to be a bit more exposed. We'll have some more end sort of um, vinyl production uh, equipment and things stored over here. But uh, the, the main thing that I'm focusing in this episode, um, we're not going to have everything done in one go, of course. So I thought, okay, the, the one thing we have ready over here is tons and tons of pine resin. So why don't we kind of figure out how we want to do the... Yeah, um, what's it called? Let's have a look. The wood workshop producing treated blanks. Bit of an issue over here because it seems it fits perfectly. We can have two of them, but there's no no gap in the middle, and that's definitely problematic. Now over here, I know previously I've kind of tried to make sure that there is a tile gap between the um, or on the either side of the tracks. Now, when we get to this zone, I, I actually feel like I want the trains to be pretty close to the, the buildings. I mean, th there are some countries in the world as well where there's literally train tracks going through the buildings. Now, um, I mean, we could maybe try and recreate something like this in here as well. But but yeah, so um, I, I want to create kind of like this dense urban population or in industrial feeling over here. So yeah, no space around around this area so okay fine I, I guess we're gonna have to go uh, not like this but um, we can do a few stations like so um, <laughs> now maybe a couple more of those trees need to go as well and then we can do some more what we can change here though is let's uh, rip this one out you can go as well hopefully there's no resources in them just yet all right is that gonna fit I think this might be a slightly better result or solution now isn't it okay and then uh, let me just pause it for a second we can have a couple of stations not the stations the wood workshops I mean just like so now if we want to mirror it on the other side we can absolutely do so and you might be right maybe it does look a little bit better so let's have a look so you're gonna go right about here I think we had one of those roads in the way as well Okay, another road over here, and I think, yeah, that's um, that's definitely looking pretty good. Now, all we got to do is just wait for them to finish the construction as well. I, I do want to put some lights in here, but first we need to figure out how do we want to have the decoration pieces as well. But um, yeah, so that's going to be like the first step. Let's give them a little bit of time, and we'll be back as soon as it's done. Okay, so I think we have completed the, the little corner here for the treated blanks we've got eight stations over here i don't think we need to run all of them of course but uh it is kind of like ready for the future should we need to ramp up our production and uh yeah whilst we were building this uh, i mean logs have been issue even though we have three thousand in the bank i think for some reason the trains are still bugged out so i might have to do a bit of a I like a reload and maybe delete the trains and buy some new ones as well because they're definitely not coming through and i have checked all of the tracks and there's no flags that are wrong way around so um yeah i mean we've seen them operational before so i'm certain we can uh, fix the issues and um okay so with uh, this being done we can do some decorations around this area in the future as well and yeah it's kind of nice to see how we got this all all this space ready for us to build it up a little bit if i highlight these buildings again then yeah we'll just do tons of warehouses more production around this zone and then production over here as well and yeah maybe we'll have the warehouses in the middle it kind of makes more sense i suppose so it might be a little bit easier for the bots to pull resources for the uh, production so okay that's gonna be the end of this episode thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one <music>